What's up guys, Jordan here, and this tutorial that I'll be showing you today will allow you to save anywhere from 16 to 64 plus gigs on your computer because I'll be showing you how you can move your backups of your iOS devices from your computer's hard drive to an external hard drive. And as long as that external drive is plugged in, you'll still be able to back up and it'll just back up to that new location that you moved it to. So anyways, let's go ahead and get started. Now, the first thing we need to do is find the location of the backup on our Mac. So go ahead and open up a new finder window, then go to users, your username, and then you need to go to library. But if you're on Mavericks, that'll be hidden. So you need to go to terminal. And I actually did a video on this to, on how to show uh, hidden files. You may have seen it, but if not, I'll go to terminal. It can be accessed by go, then utilities, and then terminal. And then it's just defaults, write com.apple.finder. It's lowercase finder if you're on Mavericks. Apple show all files true and then need to restart the finder by kill all finder and now as you can see we have uh, these hidden files in here so anyways go back to your username and then you'll see library right here quick little tip when you have uh, hidden files uh, exposed like this go ahead and drag it over here like I already have and so this one right here you see I have access to it all the time. So anyways, now go ahead and open up library. You may have to right click and hit open in a new tab. Uh, that's what I was having to do. Then go down to where it says application support. Then go all the way down to mobile backup or actually, excuse me, mobile sync. And then you want this file backup. Now I'm going to go to this external hard drive and I'm just gonna drag back up to the external hard drive. And then you'll need to wait for it to copy over. Now, once the transfer is complete, you'll have backup on your external drive. And you can either leave it in the root of the external drive, which is this location right here, or you can move it into a folder. And I'm actually gonna move it into this folder named Jordan, and then iTunes folder with in that so this is the location where backup will stay on my external drive now uh, what we need to do is actually open up terminal because we need to type in a command so go ahead and open up a new terminal window and then uh, also open up a text edit window uh, this will just make uh, the whole process a little bit easier and if you don't have text edit on the dock just go up to spotlight type in text edit now we are going to type in the command uh, which you see on screen uh, right now, except uh, where I have new location, we're actually going to put the path of the new location of backup. And then where I have old location, we're actually gonna put the path, the file path for the old location of backup. So uh, we're gonna kind of paste all the different pieces of the command together in text edit. We're gonna type ln space dash s and another space and that just basically it's going to create a pointer that points from the old location to the new location so anyways um, let's go ahead and get the new location because that's the first file path that we need to do so just drag backup into terminal and then copy this file path command c and then paste and this is the best thing ever to be able to drag a file into terminal and it gives you the file path because if you have uh, like right here spaces in the names, it can get really confusing and you're not really sure how to type it. And if you don't type it right, it won't work. So uh, this is a really cool little feature just to be able to drag in the file and it gives you the file path. So anyways, back over in text edit after we have pasted that in, put a space and then we'll put in the file path of the old backup and uh, so right here I have this tab this is the new location of the backup and this over here is the old location so click over here remember this is just username library application support mobile sync backup and then open up a new terminal window just so you don't get confused or anything drag in backup 
So it's users, username, that whole little string, and then command C, copy it, and then paste it in. So there we go. Go ahead and open up another terminal window and copy this whole string, command C, and paste it on in there. Okay, so once we hit enter, it will now point from this old location to the new location. But uh, we don't need backup in here any longer. So go ahead and drag backup to the trash. And then we're all ready to hit enter. So go back over to terminal and hit enter. And voila, um, you have just saved possibly like 60 gigs on your uh, max hard drive. Now, this is a really cool. When you go back over here to your location of the old backup, you'll see there's the folder backup, but it has this little arrow, and that's actually pointing. If you click on it, um, it opens up, and the contents of it, look at the file path down here. It'll change when I click on this. It's now pointing to the location of my external hard drive, you, uh, name iTunes backup so that's where these files actually are but when iTunes tries to access them um, it'll still go to backup and then it'll actually point to the real location which is on the external drive so just to show that show you that it worked go ahead and open up iTunes plug in my iPhone and I'll launch a backup so as you can see, it's working like a charm and backing up Jordan's iPhone 5. So anyways, that's how you move iOS backups to an external drive. A great way to save a lot of space on your Mac's hard drive. I wish there was just a little feature in iTunes settings that would allow you to do this, but fortunately there isn't. But like I just showed you, there is a way to still get it done. Hopefully that helps you out a ton. Um, if you have any other Mac questions, tutorials, things that you want me to cover, be sure to leave them down in the comments below. And uh, if you wanna see more videos like this in the future, be sure to subscribe. And as always, thank you so much for watching and hopefully I'll see you in my next video real soon. Later.